Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me and a Q&A. So I posted on Instagram, hey, just send me some questions. And at first, nobody sent any. And then I got a bunch of questions. I'm not actually going anywhere. I want to film because I got these brushes from Thrive Cosmetics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes. And I'm gonna use all of these brushes for what they were intended to be used for today. I appreciate how they made brushes for everything that most people generally need. They did not make a foundation brush, which at first I was like, hmm, that's really interesting. But if you don't know the beauty community, beauty blenders are actually really popular. I don't think making a foundation brush would have been not necessarily a bad move, but I feel like people are less likely to buy a makeup brush than they are a beauty blender. So now because there are brushes made specifically for certain things in here, I'm going to be using three of my own makeup brushes. I was kind of sad because at first I didn't get any questions. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I blame it on Instagram's algorithm and on the fact that people just don't interact like they used to. You literally have to draw people out to get them to interact. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows with some Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Ebony. First question is, what age do you think is best to start dating? And she says, honestly, I'm 23. Everybody is like, I'm too young. 23 is a pretty good age to start dating. I would ask people why they say I'm too young because sometimes people will use things like your age as a disguise to say something else. Sometimes they'll say you're young because they think that, you know, you're not financially ready or maybe you're not spiritually ready. They don't think that, you know, you're mature enough yet. So I would want to know what do they mean by that? Man, I can't believe I messed up my <sighs> I kind of just filled them in however. <laughs> I do one and then I just try to make it look like the other one. I really like straight eyebrows big straight bushy eyebrows because I have a giant forehead so I'm like ooh. now that I have some sort of shape going on I'm going to go ahead and conceal my eyebrows with the LA girl pro concealer in the shade fun taking my Mac 242 brush to do this when did you get into makeup and did your family or friends think anything of it when I started wearing makeup my family honestly was like you're doing too much yeah I just basically used to get told you know you're wearing too much makeup try something else, try this, try that. And of course, I ignored everybody because it's my face, <laughs> right? So my family didn't really think anything of it. My sisters, my older sisters, one of them used to say, I don't need makeup, you know, and then I would catch her using my stuff. My other older sister, she, she never was opposed to it. She always wanted me to kind of just pursue whatever it is that I wanted to do and make sure that I did my best at it. Of course, practice on her because she likes getting glammed up. Uh, my friends, to be honest with you, I didn't really have friends when I first started wearing makeup. Yeah, my family was, they were supportive. Nobody shot me down or told me I was, you know, dumb or stupid or whatever. When it came to my makeup career, the only thing that I got spoken to about was making sure that I put Jehovah first. Never want to forget about God when it comes to your blessings because my talents, my skills, anything that I can do is, is not because of me. It's because of him and the fact that he created me. So without that, I would literally be nothing. Any funny makeup stories growing up? When I began experimenting, I started with eyeliner. Bad idea. <laughs> you know what? I would honestly rather start with eyeliner than end with it because eyeliner is not easy. Actually, that's the first makeup that I intentionally wore. I think I was like 11. I got some blue Maybelline eyeliner from Walmart. I would sneak and wear it when my mom dropped me off to school. I would put it on. And by the end of the day, it would rub off because it was cheap. Y'all see how I blended my concealer right here? Major key because some people be looking like they got eagles on their eyes. Do you ever see that on a video? You're watching some girl do her eyebrows and then she she gets to that concealer and you just you're on the edge of your chair because you're like I know she not fist to let that sit on her eye like that I know she ain't fist to not blend out that concealer but she does she leave it right there and it'd be like three shades lighter than her actual face <laughs> look I'm not trying to roast nobody do what you want to do with your makeup there's nothing wrong with that but just remember the way you do your makeup, you might be entertaining somebody else. They might be sitting there giggling at you. Long nails or short nails? 
long nails. I kind of feel like if I'm going to get my nails done and I'm going to pay XYZ amount, I'm going to get as much as I can. And I just love the feeling. It makes me feel like a feline, like feminine. Now, I don't get them super long like some people. Like, I still need to be able to wipe my butt, so. <laughs> long nails. You know what? I'm going to match my shirt today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work with, with these colors. I'm going to go into Anastasia eyeshadow in the color Fawn. It is a warm taupe. If you could come up with your own beauty makeup line, what would it be? I've never thought about that. And the reason why is because I am lazy. I'm one of those people who gets an idea and they're like, somebody should do that. I'm somebody who will intentionally put an idea out into the air on Instagram, on Twitter, or tell my manager an idea so that they can do it and not me. <laughs> I don't really care for the credit, you know? But if I had to make a beauty line, multi-purpose pressed pigments and skincare. That's what I would focus on. Super simplified, easy skincare. Stuff that works, that doesn't have a lot of ingredients and doesn't require a million steps because people are lazy, you know? And people like the easy way to get things done, which I do too. And with the pigments, they would be pressed. Um, I probably would do some loose ones too for the loosey gooseys. But they would be pressed pigments that you can use on your eyes or on your face or on your body. But that's what I would do because I feel like people want to know that the eyeshadows that they're using are going to be pretty. People want to know that the pigments that they're using are going to stay on. You want pigmentation. You want clean formula. I would just do that. But again, I'm lazy. So somebody, somebody do that. Somebody get to that. <laughs> Three things you dislike about the makeup community and three things you like. Ooh. 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 People, y'all trying to start drama. The competitive spirit. I do not like that at all. It just causes so much drama and dysfunction. The people who are on top, because the, I mean it is what it is. There are people on top of this this game here the people on top have a tendency to make people who you know aren't up there with them or anywhere near where they are feel like they're lesser than i just don't like when beauty influencers make people who want to be wherever they're going feel like they're lesser than and don't necessarily acknowledge them unless they're kissing their butt. I don't like the lack of diversity, not only because of the skin tone, but also popularity. There's lack of diversity in that. Companies don't wanna share your work if you aren't popular because they don't feel like you're getting people to buy their products. But the reality is, is it's the people who have nothing who talk to other people. Some lady on Instagram might have a million subscribers and she's sitting there telling me, I love this brush. This brush is so great. You should totally get this brush. And I'm going to be like, eh, whatever. I'm not going to get the brush. Because it's like, you know, you're always promoting something. You're always doing something. You know, you're popular. This is what you do. Companies forget that smaller platforms matter too. Because those people have a tendency to be closer to their followers, their subscribers. Three things I do like about the beauty community. I like how people with smaller platforms have a tendency to come together. I like how people with smaller platforms have a tendency to want to teach more, get into detail. And also I like my followers and my subscribers, but I like the people who socialize and interact with me on my platform. The people who do interact with me make me feel good about creating content. They make me get excited. So I'm gonna go into this NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I'm using this blending brush because the brush that I got in my Thrive Cosmetics brush set is a eyeshadow crease brush. And as you can see, there is a major difference. This one is tapered, so it's meant to do detailing work. And that's what I'm gonna use that for when I get to my crease. I saw one of your videos that you applied hair gel afterwards and I would like to know why you did that. Also, how can I get matte eyebrows on a budget? Two of my friends that work for MAC told me to use a Eco Styler gel on my eyebrows if I want the hairs to stand up. And that is specifically what I was trying to do. I wanted my eyebrow hairs to stand up. I wanted them to be fleeky. And I wanted it to look like I got all this hair when I really don't. <laughs> So that's why I did that. And then on a budget to have matte eyebrows, the first thing you wanna do is, is get a waterproof 
products. Waterproof products generally have more wax in them. They stick more and they also have a tendency to be matte. If you can afford it, I would suggest getting a pomade because pomades, they're creams, but they dry and they're matte, like my eyebrows are matte. I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. After you fill in your eyebrows, set them with a eyeshadow or something that's the same color. I also put on my eyebrows before I do my skincare. If you put a grease or oil or lotion or something around your eyebrows or even on your eyebrows, it's going to make them slide off. So, Are you very informative on makeup that is natural, organic, cruelty-free? Thrive Cosmetics is one of the only brands that I know that's completely cruelty free that I can think of right now but I will list down below all the brands that I use that are cruelty free and vegan I'll list them down below that way you don't have to go searching high and low for them <laughs> where do you live how old are you and how do you manage being a baptized Jehovah's Witness along with your career of being a makeup artist so for the last question I'm not a makeup artist anymore I quit specifically to relieve myself of stress and to pursue my spiritual goals when i was still doing makeup i just wouldn't book things that will interfere with my spiritual goals and my spiritual routine so i would just make sure that i always put jehovah first above all else and never compromise because he will always bless your efforts and when you put the kingdom first matthew 6 33 everything else will be added to you boo so i had nothing to worry about i always had food to eat i always had money in my pocket i was good where do you live and what's your age? I live in Texas, North Texas. That's about as specific as I'm going to get. <laughs> I did not disclose my age for a number of reasons. One, because whenever you tell people how old you are, they usually judge you. Not saying that that's what you're going to do, but that's just what people do. I'm going to go into this eyeshadow. That's just what people do. They feel like they can say anything to you or tell you how to feel and tell you what situations don't apply to you and things like that and you know I personally just got tired of it when I was younger so I just stopped telling people how old I was because I was like you're not gonna tell me you know I'm too young or I'm too old or I don't understand because I'm not 50 million years old like you are you know <laughs> but yeah so I don't really tell how old I am and I hope you're okay with that because you know it doesn't it doesn't matter does it so I'm just going to blend this in. I really like this palette. I'm actually really surprised at how pigmented it is. And I find that with colors like this, the shimmery ones usually work way better. So turn up. What's your favorite fast food place? My favorite fast food place is... It's between Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A. Because them sandwiches from uh, Chick-fil-A be so lit. And I only eat Taco Bell with no meat. I always order with beans instead of meat. And it just, it tastes so much better. And it doesn't make your stomach hurt either. Because, you know, I mean, honestly, we don't know what that meat is. It's not local. What's your favorite traditional dish? Ooh. Now, when you say traditional, that's really hard for me. Because in my family, we're very diverse uh, on my father's side. My mom is from Seattle. She doesn't really know much about her background, etc., etc. So we don't have traditions other than the American ones, which, you know, they're not that great, to be honest with you. In my family, one of my favorite traditional dishes is nachos. <laughs> Black beans, I like to add seasonings that are like spicy, jalapenos, on the border chips, gotta have the on the border chips. And I don't like to put meat in mine because I am just real suspect of meat in general. But if I do, I put ground turkey. And it be lit, bro, with all the vegetables and everything. Like, ugh, it's so good. What's your favorite Fenty product other than the Stunna lip paint? I would say the Galaxy Collection lip gloss. The one, Gal on the Moon. I love that lip gloss. How old are you? No. <laughs> Where do you work? I'm a receptionist for a shared officing suite. That's what I do. So I help all of these rich people and people who have more money than me, you know, handle their business, the little things that they don't really have time to do or think about. I do all that. Are you in school? If so, what are you studying? I study my eyelids, okay? I absolutely hated school. I feel like it's a scam. Um, especially in America, because in America, they don't teach you anything so that you learn. They teach you so that you are able to think the way that they want you to think. 
instead of thinking for yourself or discovering things. I feel like it's a scam. Nobody should pay a million dollars to go to school or even $20,000. Like it, it's just a big waste of time to me. And just the other day I was telling somebody, they were like, oh, my professor didn't show up for class today. I was like, you know how mad I would be if I've been spending like thousands and thousands of dollars on school and you have the audacity not to show up and teach me, but you expect me to be here? What? And you're literally like holding my life in the palm of your hands with these stupid grades? No, I hated that. I, I felt like I had no control. I'm not studious when it comes to stuff that I don't care about, so... Nope, I'm not in school. What has 2017 taught you? 2017 has taught me that people can change and then other people will not. And that's just fine because it's up to them and at the end of the day, we're all gonna wind up wherever we wind up, right? I know where I'm gonna be. It also taught me, make sure you have gas in your car. If your area runs out of gas, you are butt out of luck. What are you looking forward to in 2018? I'm looking forward to new products and seeing how far Fenty Beauty goes. I'm also looking forward to adventures. I really want to travel. I'd like to go somewhere fun with Choji. I'm looking forward to seeing where my relationship goes and um, eating. That's my favorite part about different years. Like new foods come out and your girl be hungry all the time. That's what I'm looking forward to. Went downstairs and got me a cupcake. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the darker blues that I have. So it's gonna be this one and this one. Who's your favorite beauty influencer? So my favorite beauty influencer, because the other one after that said favorite YouTuber. So my favorite beauty influencer would have to be Jackie Ina. She's always stayed true to herself no matter what's going on on YouTube or in the beauty industry. She knows her purpose as far as why she's here on her channel and what her goals are. And I really appreciate and admire that about her because quite honestly, it's not easy to just figure out you know, what you want to do as a content creator and just as a person in general. She wants to address the need for inclusiveness and I really respect her for that. Plus, she honestly showed me that it's absolutely okay to be myself on YouTube and she is real. When I say real, I mean real, real. Like she's gonna keep it real with you, she's gonna keep it real with him, she gonna keep it real with her. We all gonna get it from Jackie Ina. And in the most respectful way as well. Now my favorite YouTuber, my favorite YouTubers are Jamie and Nikki Perkins. They are so cute. They have their own vlog and they basically just, they vlog their lives, their lifestyle, the things that they do. They have a beautiful baby girl. They're gonna have another one really soon. And I love watching them because they're just so cute. They're so cute and realistic at the same time. And I just really admire them. I like how peaceful they seem to be. How is the Banisher kit working out for you? It helped out quite a bit. The only thing is, is that I have a tendency to pick at my face. So really, no matter what I do, I'm gonna have scarring on my skin unless I can stop doing that, which is really hard. I've tried, but when you're sitting at a vanity and you're in front of a mirror and you can see your pores, you can see what's in them, it's kind of complicated, you know? And, and it, especially when I get stressed out and if I'm sitting at my vanity, I just go ham on my own face and it's terrible. But yeah, the Banisher Kit is amazing. If you don't have bad habits like me as far as picking goes, then it is an excellent kit for you. It works like a charm. Um, I could swear I had more questions than that, but I guess I answered them all. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this right chill. I guess since I was trying to make sure I answered them all, I kind of rushed. Mm, oops. Now we're gonna start dipping and diving into these Thrive Cosmetic brushes. I'm going to take the crease brush, and that's what it looks like. I love that pointed dome. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into this blue right here, and then I'm gonna mix it with this darker blue. Remember when people used to do that on YouTube? They would actually mix their eyeshadows instead of just wearing like two. And I'm gonna place this on the outer third of my eye. Now mind you, this is a crease brush, so I am gonna go up into my crease with this. 
And this is just going to give me some more depth because that is what I want. I want lots and lots of depth. So for my base, I'm going to go in with this really pretty gold eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's called Thirsty Girl. This is the brush that I was supposed to be using. And I'm just going to wet it a little bit. And since these mimic real hair, it should make uh, the same effect as the other brush I was using. So here we go. Wow, this is spreading this ColourPop eyeshadow like butter. And y'all know ColourPop eyeshadows do not just spread like that. Wow. And with cut creases, you want to make sure you close your eye all the way if you can. Just so you can see what it's going to look like when you blink. Because I like to make sure that mine are even. This one is for the lid and this one is for all over the eyes. So I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to go back into this shade right here wow look at how much product that picked up to maintain all that depth that i created to begin with to add some glamour to it should i do it so i think i'm gonna go over it with this glitter right here i like to use my fingers with this palette to be honest with you guys put it right on top like that it's so sparkly I actually have more glitter believe it or not and I think I'm going to put that on the outer part. And this is from Star Crush Minerals. It's called Treasure Island. And I'm just going to put that in between my eyeshadow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my same eyeshadow lid brush with a little bit of glitter glue. I'm going to wing this glitter up a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And kind of just bring it on up like that. I feel like once I'm done with this, I'm going to be filling it like a lot. Okay, so now that I got all my glitter on my face, literally, I'm going to take a makeup wipe. And that, my friends, is how you get that precision. You can do that with a makeup wipe, concealer, or just mix with the glitter. And Yes, now that I've cleaned it up, I'm feeling it. I'm going to add more color back into my face using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. And I don't have a powder brush, so I'm going to go ahead and use this bronzer brush. It's really, really soft and dense, and it's angled. Ooh. Really does pick up product. So I'm going to use this to press it into my face. It feels kind of dense to be a bronzer brush, but because it's dual fiber, I think it's going to do a really good job at blending out my bronzer contour. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with my bronzer if I can find it. I'm going to take the Thrive Cosmetics bronzer. This is in the shade Eois. And that's what it looks like. I'm just going to pick this up. It looks like it might be neutral or cool toned. We'll see. I'm just going to press this in. Oh, wow. I didn't expect for it to show up on me because it just looks so light in the pan. So I'm going to use this brush and press it in like this. This is actually the perfect shape for bronzing and contouring. The angle of this brush. Wow, that's beautiful. Talk about my new bronzer. Turn up. I'm going to get a little bit more and do the other side. Wow, I can't believe that matches like it. I mean, you know, only because it just looked so light. I feel like this would be a good foundation brush too. So you might see me use this in another tutorial. It's been a while since I've used brushes, but I might use this in another tutorial for foundation. A blush brush, and this is also from Thrive. And it's shaped really similar to the bronzing brush. The blush that I'm going to be using is Angelina. It's also from Thrive, and that's what it looks like. Now, this is really, really pretty. <laughs> and I'm supposing you would just... Oh, that's pygmy teeth. Oh, oh. Okay, Angelina. So I'm just going to press this in and try to blend it out. Well, they certainly are pigmented and they blend out beautifully. And if you're wondering why I'm tapping it in instead of like 
It's because I don't want to pick up my foundation and concealer that I worked so hard to put down. I'm going to go ahead and go in with some black eyeliner from Estee Lauder. And I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line right up in here. I'm going to go into my Inglot AMC Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to risk it all. <laughs> this is a fine eyeliner brush. When this eyeliner is brand new, it is so, like, it is a godsend. It's so good. My eyeliner smudging brush. And I'm going to use it specifically for that. So I'm going to tap this blue right on top of all of that black eyeliner. And I'm going to smudge it. I'm going to put that blue right here. Then I'm going to take my pencil brush from earlier. And I'm just going to bring it along the bottom. And last but not least, highlighter, you guys. I'm going to take this. This is the highlighting brush. Isn't that pretty? Oh. And I'm just going to sweep it in here. This is a beautiful rose gold highlight. You can also use it as an eyeshadow. And I'm just going to sweep it right across my cheek. Oh, wow. I like that. That was very easy. Okay, let's try the other side and see what happens. I have to be careful with that. This brush is amazing. I, I, I did it by accident, but jeez. <laughs> this brush, me and this brush are going to be real good friends. Y'all, my camera is trying to play me right now. It keeps saying that the storage is full, and I literally took all of the video audio off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my beauty mark. I'm going to go in with this brick lip liner from Estee Lauder. I feel like I never wear lip liner anymore. Is it me or is lip liner like a thing of the past? <laughs> I'm going to use my favorite nude liquid lip. This is in the shade Rum Cake. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm going to put on some lashes. Okay, so this is the final look. It's way more extra than I planned it to be. Overall, my review of the Thrive Cosmetics makeup brushes in here. I really appreciate the effort that Thrive Cosmetics made when making these brushes. They always put out a survey for their clients to fill out and you get to give your whole real opinion, not just what they want to know like or what they want to hear. And um, I really appreciate all the effort. I love that they're vegan. I love that they're cruelty free. I love that they mimic real hair brushes. Those brushes are really bomb. They pick up a lot of product and they blend out really, really well. If I had to choose a favorite brush, it's going to have to be the highlighting brush because... It just, like, it just delivered my whole entire life on my face. It just looks really wet. It's not solid on my face. And I love this. If you're going to get any brush, get the highlighting brush and get the bronzer brush and get the eyeliner brush. Those are my three favorites, but my top fave is the highlighting brush. So, if you want to check out these brushes, please check out my description box for the link down below. And thank you so much, Thrive Cosmetics, for sending me these brushes. I'm so glad because your girl was wanting some new brushes, you know what I'm saying? So, came through with the come through, you know. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you all really appreciated it. I had fun filming it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. But until then, check out this fabulous video. I know you want to watch it, because it's right here. I know you want to see it, click it right here. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get to know when my videos come up. But just go ahead and click on this one.